back in the team this season. How's it been for you so far? How do you feel you play? How do you feel the team's playing? Um, I think it's been a solid enough start for myself. I think um, it, it was nice to come in and, and be involved right away for pre-season, so that was good. Came back fit. I know it's a big season for myself. It's been a, a difficult couple of seasons. And not delighted to be back in. The manager's shown, as he did last season since he's come in, I, I trust in players if they do well for him, they'll stay in. So I uh, obviously must take from that that he's happy with how I'm doing. Um, collectively, we're, we're very organised and you mix that with the quality we've got in the in the forward areas with Spittle, Slattery, whatever striker we play, um, whether it's a one or a two, you see some lovely combinations, some lovely quality within the, the game. And um, and we're just looking to continue that as a team. I think it was disappointing at the weekend, but for anyone that watched it or that was there, I thought we showed some really good stuff, maybe one of the best games, but frustrating that that didn't lead to, to a win. Um, but St Murn done really well as well and, and stuck to their task and, and frustrated us as well and, and minimised us to a, a few opportunities and we didn't manage to take them. But obviously moving on to the weekend, we've got a, the first taste of the, the old firm this season. Be a, will be a difficult one. At Ibrox, they're off the back of a really positive result for them, but hopefully they maybe take it take it for granted after such a good result and, and we capitalise having a full week prep. Um, the manager prepares us really well and, and have a good chance to, to get a result. Well, touch on that game in a second. Just going back to something you said, it's been a difficult few seasons for you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Why has it been so tough? No, tough there's, 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 it's just tough not playing. There's nothing really more than that to say, I think. Every player in the world has went through spells of not playing, and I, and I went through it there. And um, and at an age where I was hoping that I would be wherever I was playing every single week, obviously your performances need to merit that. But that's your kind of what you were hoping for, and um, and it was just was frustrating, difficult. But that's it's nothing new um, in football, and and I'm just thankful at the moment I'm at the other side. But it can change very quickly. We've got a lot of wing backs this season, um, and. And the important thing is is to be trying to play, working hard, and and I, and I think I definitely do the the latter. And if I play, is obviously the manager's decision. And um, and and so far I've been getting that decision. But look, that could change at the weekend. I hope not. <laughs> but um, again, that's uh, he showed that no matter what he does, his team's organised. And uh, and I just hope I can be part of that for as long as possible. Were there times when you weren't playing that you? you had to look at other options, perhaps leaving to go and play elsewhere, or did you always see your future being here at the club? Well, look, I think that's only natural that if you're not playing, I think <laughs> if you're not playing at a club and you want to stay, I would, like, obviously, maybe if you're at Real Madrid or something, I'm sure you might be winning things, but I think you want to be playing as a footballer without playing your your weeks. Like, uh, last week was uh, the international break and there was no, no game, and and it's just weird when you come in and you know you're not, and that was sadly this, the, how it was. I knew I wasn't going to be playing at the weekends at times, and, and it, it was hard, hard to motivate, hard to keep keep pushing. But look, get through it, um, and look, and just um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season with, with Mother and with the manager. I think he's um, been a revelation for me, and, I, and I'm I'm delighted. Does it make you relish these massive games more when you look back to where you were maybe 18 months ago and now you're like, look, I'm back in the team, starting high box, you've got a great chance at the weekend. Look, I think <clears throat> I think your bread and butter needs to be the other clubs because I think Rangers and Celtic will always be difficult occasions, but they're certainly the the games where you want to go and show that you can compete not only at your level, but maybe a level above, potentially, if you we want to pitch Rangers and Celtic up there. We've shown this season so far that uh, performance against Hibs, Hearts, that we can play against the best teams in the league. But obviously Rangers and, and Celtic come a different challenge. So I think um, looking forward to playing it, what, what's an amazing stadium, but I've played plenty of times before and hopefully be a positive result for us. Just finally for me, you say you've played there plenty of times before. You were part of that Kilmarnock team that finished third, was so impressive, good results against the old firm. Do, do you... See any similarities this season between the way that you've started up at third in the league at the moment? Do you feel that if you do go to a place like Ibrox, get a positive result, it can give the squad belief for the rest of the year that you know what we, we can be up here, we can be in the top six, and we can punch the noses of the bigger teams? Look, I think I think that belief's already been instilled by the previous six months. Um, I think we showed we could compete when I was and wasn't in the team under under this manager. Um, so I think 
that will be no different. We do believe we can go and compete in, 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 and we have game plans where the manager's very, very thorough with what he expects from us. And, um, and I believe that as a group, we can go and deliver that. Now, anything can happen in a game. You can referee's decisions, goal can see the like, first couple of minutes can change things and, and make it difficult afternoons, but that can happen in any game. So I think we we have a squad that can believe we can get results, but we also accept that it's a diff difficult place to go. Um, but we'll be set up, we'll be organised, and and look, if I think, if we have a good game, I think well, if Rangers are, have a slight off day, I think we'll be in a very good position to, to capitalise, and, and we hope that that's the case. We still have lost an away league game under this match. Yep. What's, the, what's the kind of key to, to that kind of form? Look, I think it's, it's simple. I think he... He gives us a job, he trusts us to do the job and fortunately in the in the, the, the games we've had we've we've delivered that. Um obviously last season with the likes of Kevin who would get the goal, you'd be organised behind it. So this season we've I think we maybe performed a bit better as a collective, maybe, in the, the opening games, but um look a really exciting kind of forum we've had and hopefully it will continue. You say obviously the manager's Loyal to the players he's played, they've played well. He said himself, "There's no point changing the team if the team's playing well." Is that good to know where you can stand as players as, as well? Is that? Well, I, th I think playing well. I think maybe <laughs> playing well is always flexible because the most important thing is and always will be is to get the results. Um, and obviously, we didn't get that at the weekend, which was frustrating. But certainly, to, <laughs> if you're playing well, the results should be coming. So, look, I think the the good start we've had to the season with the, the points we accumulated. Um, obviously the setback last week is disappointing but um, again the, the manager will as I think he always does he'll pick the team that he thinks will win you had Paul McGinn come out last week for, due to suspension who's arguably been our best player since he signed for the club so I think um, these decisions that the manager's had he's got a, a squad that you lose one another one comes in and it's, it's a competitive you know the role you know what's expected and with Shane Blaney coming in at the weekend, it was it was pretty much seamless. Um, just obviously disappointed we didn't get the result, but look, that shows you the the togetherness, the the organisation, the clarity that everyone has within the club. And I think if you ask most of the boys or, or all, all of them, I think if they came in, I think they'll know exactly what's expected of them and and and, what, and and if they deliver it, like I feel I'd, maybe I did last season when Max got injured. Um, he stayed with me till till the end of the season, so that's that's all you can really ever ask for is is what's expected of you, and then go and deliver it. And I think we as a squad um, have been managing to deliver that for the manager. Are you enjoying maybe a more license to get forward, especially putting the wing back role? Maybe wasn't there maybe eighteen months ago? Yeah, no. Look, I, I don't think I would like to say I I feel I can try and perform whatever role I've played in Steve Clark's back four, I've played in a wing back for Scotland played wing back for Robinson um, here as well and, and at times under Alexander so I, again I think the role isn't anything different how managers want you to play it can be different and it's just trying to however they shape up however however we shape up and what is expected in that particular game is trying to deliver that and hopefully I can, can keep doing that and, and do enough to stay in the team which is ultimately what every footballer wants is to be playing every week um, from within that, you have the younger ones or maybe pushing for moves, they need to be playing to be getting that. For the older ones, if it's a move or a new contract or or just staying in the game, if that was it, um, it's, it's, it's all about playing and trying to apply your trade at the highest level possible. And unfortunately, if, if I'm given the nod, it's another opportunity at Ibrox. Um, but whoever it is, the, the squad will be ready, the squad will be organised and will be in a good place to get a result. You mentioned during the international break how difficult it was still being here. Is that something that's a personal aim for you to get back into? The oh, no, I wasn't meaning that in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> like I think, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would obviously love to play for Scotland, but I think um, my focus needs to be trying to cement a place at Mother and hopefully keep Mother in the top six. And if we do that, I'm pretty sure the manager of Scotland knows who I am. So if he ever sees a need for me, I'm more than happy to to be there. But um, I was at the game and, and enjoying watching, I think, uh, what's going on there is brilliant as well.